For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team Coin, check out the Mud Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. All right, guys, we're back with something real quickly. About a month and a half, maybe two months ago, I put out an update video informing you guys that I will no longer be buying contracts from the Madden Store just because it kind of is just a waste of coin. Literally, it's a waste of coins. Contracts shouldn't be in the game, but the reason why it's a waste of coin is because when you go to the store and buy the contracts for 2,000 for 100, those coins go to nobody. So I'm like, if I'm going to get contracts, I might as well do the contract pack. At least somebody who's spending the time to put up 20 bronze badges for 100 coins a pop is going to get the coins. And after the math worked out, they pretty much all cost the exact same you weren't spending no more on the contracts than you were buying them at a store. Now, the one downside to it was, of course, the pack range was between 10 contracts and 500 at the max. You weren't gonna pull off 100. I think I probably did this set about 30 to 50 times, somewhere in that range, and that was a huge range. And I think I've only pulled like 250 once. But they went ahead and since then updated it to make it a little bit more practical to do. As you guys can see by the description, it is now a minimum of 75 contracts and a max of 250, which is excellent because the math is still the same. Bronze badges are about 100, 200 coins, and silver badges are still going for about 800. So if the math works out, three bronze, 300 coins, two silver, 800, that is about 1,900 coins. We'll just say 2,000 because that's an easy number to work with. You still get the 500 coin quick sell out of that pack, and the minimum now is going to be 75. So pretty much the math works out the same. So you can either go to the store and buy the contracts much easier that way and just don't give anybody the coin, or you can go to the auction house, sort by bronze badges, buy one, go to your binder, and just keep buying as many as you possibly can in order to help those guys out. Because the coins going back in market is a good thing because that allows more people in this game to pull more packs, or go to the auction block and buy the item that you got posted up there, and you're not just wasting 100,000 coins on contracts and it goes to nobody. Like, at least if you're going to be stocking up on contracts. My buddy E-Rock, he spent, I think, 100K on contracts, which is, like, crazy in itself. That's a lot of damn coins to spend on contracts, but they're so expensive. Now this set is actually worth doing, as you guys are seeing. I'm pulling exactly what I'll be getting if I go to the damn store. Like, everything works out math-wise. 125 or the 75 or the 150. Like, everything seems to be on the up and up right now, and the cost is the same, if not cheaper, because 2,000 gets you 100, whereas over here, about 1,500 after you quick sell the collectible gets you about 125 on average. That seems fair to me. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Maybe you guys don't want to go for the time to do this, but they're giving us a chance to basically put coins back in the market. You guys should go ahead and do that by buying the contract packs by getting the bronze and silver badges instead of actually going to the damn store and doing it easy that way. I know it's an inconvenience, but with the way they have the batch to add set filter button over here that makes everything much easier to you, you shouldn't be stressing over this whatsoever and it should take no time. And just put on a movie if you are gonna be doing this for a while. So I hope you guys found this informative, man. No more buying contracts, put the coins back in the market. And in doing so, hopefully people will start buying our items we got posted up on the auction block. Hope y'all enjoyed this update, and I'll see you guys in the next one.